Yeah, yeah, yeah. See my whole team, and you know where to find us. Yeah, you know where to find me. Hey, I'm drowning in grace. And so today's video is a nail video and i'll be tackling these nails i recently removed the gel polish that i had on for a while i had this polish for five weeks five and a half weeks as you can see i really love blue i have different shades of blue of different things in my room and i just decided i want to have my nails bare for a while and by bare i mean I will not be doing gel polish or regular polish like color for a couple of weeks just so that my nails can have a break and I can see how they are doing without polish. I'll be using regular cotton wool. I just like to put it in this bag. It's so easy. And I'll also be using this nail polish remover by Luron. I picked it up yesterday and it's enriched with almond oil. So I'm really hoping that this will kind of help keep my nails healthy and prevent my nails from drying and cracking. Because the past couple of videos you guys saw that I was using pure acetone to remove my nail polish. And acetone is very drying for the nails. So I'm not using that anymore. Okay, I'm just realizing this has some acetone in it, but I think the important thing is that it has some almond oil and other emollients, blah, 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 which can help from drying. So since it's not pure acetone, it's a better option. Doing this step to make sure that I don't have any polish left on my natural nails. That way my nails are fresh. Do the exact same thing to remove any polish on the other hand. Old toothbrush that I use for things like scrubbing underneath my nails or doing my edges. So that's what I'm going to use because I don't have like those small tiny nail brushes. It's just so easy to use plus after I use it I wash it and clean it so if you're feeling disgusted that I use the same thing for my edges, that's your problem. Scrub like so. Scrub back and forth and underneath the nails so that they're clean and on top. Just like that. Okay. Make sure you do the same thing for the other hand. Like, don't neglect the other hand, you know? see now my nails are clean like underneath the nails are clean and yeah they're ready for some moisturizing well, I'm using the same oil that I use you know for my hair for the nails because why not it's essential oil so it's it's good like it's good the nail care product that I'll be using today it's a Luron nail hardener and strengthener this product is infused with nonicosin E which is an ingredient that helps to strengthen brittle and weak nails it also helps to prevent cracks and tearing on nails and so I think it's a really good product for natural nails the product kind of appears pink but it's very light and You'll just see how it appears after I apply it on my nails. I've been using this for a while now and I think it really helps keep my nails naturally strong and healthy, especially after I've done gel polish for a while.
my nails are looking really juicy and moisturized they look nice i'm happy If you're struggling with weak or brittle nails, this routine can really help you get started on a healthy nail journey. Just some simple practices to keep your nails healthy. Like, comment and share. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.